braiders and talk to you guys about braiders. There are clients you should be avoiding. For those of you guys who do not know, make sure you guys are hitting up braidhairforcash.com. That is where I have a course where I teach you how to start your braiding business. Or you can click the link in, in the description below. And you can find out how I started my braiding business for $10, and you can too. Check it out. Subscribe to the channel. The first reason why you need to avoid a client is because complaining clients are going to be your worst nightmare. It all starts off with just a few questions. Hey, Jen, what about this? What about this? Next thing you know, this person is unhappy with the hairstyle you've given them. They're going to complain. They're going to talk bad about you. They're going to bash you. They're going to be the person that's going to leave that negative review about you. So if you can foresee or you're already interacting with a client who is very combative, already complaining, and you have not even put your nice, pretty little fingers in their hair, this is the reason why you need to avoid that client and decline that client. The second reason why you need to avoid certain clients is because they're going to come to you with pictures, okay? On the left here, you see the picture of the person who had an expectation versus the reality of what you actually can bring. So if you do not know how to do a hairstyle, you need to avoid that client like the plague because what's going to happen is you're going to promise them you're going to do their hair like that picture, like that magazine, like that Instagram post, and the moment you cannot deliver, they're going to turn into number one, a complaining client. So if you cannot do a hairstyle, don't know how to do a hairstyle, don't do the hairstyle, you need to be turning down and avoiding that client. The last client that you need to avoid is the client with possible hair issues. Now, I know some of you guys out there are um, specialists in dealing with maybe tender-headed, maybe um, thinning hair. Now, if that's your specialty, that's one thing. But if you got a client that comes to you that has a new perm, that has a um, new hair dye, has a new cellophane, has um, informed you of thinning edges, things like that, they have an issue with their hair. You need to avoid that client because what's going to happen is anything you do to their hair, and if it doesn't come off the way they like, on top of the fact that they have an issue with their hair, they're going to turn into number one. They're going to turn into a complaining client. So you need to be avoiding three, these types of clients. The first client you need to avoid is the client that's just complaining for no reason. The second client you need to be avoiding is the client who wants you to do a hairstyle that you do not know how to do. The third client you need to be avoiding is the client who does not or the client who has a possible hair issue. So you guys, I hope that this was helpful. You guys, leave it in the comments below. Have you ever dealt with one of these type of clients? Or what kind of clients do you avoid? So you guys, I hope this was helpful. Again, check out Braid Hairs for Cash, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Bye, y'all.